I had a talk uh, with my mother about this, and she saw some of your things uh, on the computer and, uh, yeah. and so on. And she's, she's by now 64 years old, and she's not into to, to these ideas that for that, that long time. Right. And her kind of um, main concern, she's, she's getting the point where you are going and what you're talking about, but, but still, you know, on, on such, such right. a new level and mm -hmm. uh, in very short time. So her kind of main concern is, but what will it be like? I mean, how, how will it change? How can we? How can you talk to uh, a farmer or a man in the shop uh, who never heard about this? What 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 can he expect if if a guy comes up to you uh, who never heard about all these things and it's not in? If you say infinite possibilities and and consciousness, he might think, oh, what's this? You know? How, well, how, for a guy like this, how can he imagine? Well, well the, thi the thing is, it, it's 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 about. Um, and I'm meaning how to how how can he imagine a world after the, the control system? Uh, well, is, okay. Well, so, well, well, on one level, um, you talk to people. Um, you, I don't impose myself on people. If people ask, I'll talk, uh, and I put things out on the internet and books and stuff, and then people have the choice about whether to go to them. I'm not. You know, getting them in a headlock and saying you've got to listen to this, and that's the last thing I want. But you, you, you look, um, you look at who you're talking to, where they're coming from, and you word it in a way that um, they can, they will best understand. Um, you know, it's no good talking uh, deep metaphysics to a five-year-old. You know, you talk to a, you, you would use different words, wouldn't you? And it's the same that if people are really into all this stuff and they've done a lot of uh, research, a lot of reading, you can communicate this at a certain level. But if you're talking to someone who's new to it, then you, you, you have to accept that. You're not saying you're stupid, so I have to put it in, 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 in simple, even more simple terms. You're recognizing that the person has not done the research. Therefore, if you talk from the perspective of someone who has, never the twain shall meet. So you, you, you do have to look at who you're talking to. and. And, and, and pitch it to, to how you can make a communication, how you can exchange uh, information with them, rather than, you know, we literally have this thing, don't we, talking over people's heads. Um, but in terms of the, the world that's coming, well, um, how does any of us know that? First of all, um, this system that we're living is coming down because it's a product of the uh, information, vibrational information epoch that is, that, is, that is now being replaced by something greater. Um, and when um, you are, I mean, just think of your own life. When, when you're going through your life and um, you are seeing the world in a certain way, like the system wants you to see it, you are transferring that mental and emotional state into a vibrational state and therefore you are projecting an energy field that relates to your um, sense of self in the world and your mental and emotional state. That energy field that you're projecting, which is a, a vibrational version of that, then pulls in towards it those energy fields that it syncs with. Uh, people, places, ways of life, locations, experiences. Um, and, and in that way, we actually draw into our lives um, uh, the, the, the life that we experience, even though we think it's random. Now, when you go through an awakening, I know this not just from my own experience, but from observing other people, then what, ha what is the awakening? It's a change in your mental and emotional state, your spiritual state, your state of perception, and thus, that's transferred out as your energetic field that you're projecting. So what happens? Suddenly, what you were drawing in before no longer um, is drawn in. And you experience this in, in the experienced world of the holographic reality as your life falling apart. Minded, my God, my life in... 1990, 1991, just absolutely collapsed. Everything that I was, I was known for, I experienced, everything collapsed. And, and people can get very frightened uh, at this point. And this is why I say to them, you know, they, my life's falling apart. And I said to them, 
Isn't that the life you wanted to fall apart? Yeah, well, yeah, but it's not, no, no, it's not. But the point is that if that life that you were drawing in did not fall apart, how could, it, how could you draw in a different life? You couldn't, because that's always going to be there to stop any new thing coming in. So the old life has to fall apart. And then you go through the transition and, and suddenly the new you is now drawing in new people, experiences and locations and opportunities and adventures. Now there's a collective version of that. And that's what humanity is going through. So when you look um, at what we have drawn in collectively, we have drawn in a control system, um, uh, and institutions that are there to impose the will of the few upon us. Um, uh, financial systems and, and political systems and all the rest of it that are all there as part of the control of the few of the many. So as um, we transform our state of awareness and open out of mind and everything I've just described, all those institutions, they're all manifestations individually and collectively of mind. It's where they're so stupid. Um, as we awaken and our sense of collective perception changes, then that which the old collective perception of mind drew in must collapse, and they will. And a lot of people are going to be very frightened as the, 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 the lives that they've known, the institutions that they've known, the collective ways of organization that they've known start to collapse, and, and it's going to be very challenging. I've never hit this all through the years. Um, but that has to happen so the new can come in. And in many ways, um, I remember I, I, I had a wonderful friend once. She, she died a few years ago called Yeva. Um, she looked like a big Native American grandmother. And she's very psychic. And the first time I ever met her, um, uh, she said to me, you're going to do it, aren't you? And I said, what do you mean? No, you're going to do it. You're the one who's going to do it. You're going to do it. And she would say anything else. I know you're going to do it, right? And then she said, um, what I'm seeing is you um, with, in, 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 um, in like a coat of armor with a sword on a horse, symbolically. And it's like, you're the, you're the, you're, you're the kind of generation, if you like, that are going, to knock, are going to knock the wall down. And then she says, I'm seeing, I'm see, I a, my, my son was young at the time, I'm seeing your son, and she thought it was me, she said, no, I'm seeing you on another horse now, and you haven't got any armor on. Oh no, he says, so-and-so, and it was a little boy at the time, he said, his generation, they're not going to push the wall down, the wall's going to be down. His generation are then going to start the process of building a different world. Um, and I think, I think there's a lot of truth in the, uh, the kind of psychic vision that she had at that time. I only just met her. Um, you were for many, many years after. Um, because we are, we, the, the, there is a, a structure that must come down, because if it doesn't, it will stop anything else coming in. Mm. Um, fortunately, this structure that must come down is the holographic representation of the old energetic epoch actually a distortion even of that, as I'll get, you know, doing my talks and books. And therefore it must come down because the energetic foundation of it is, is being replaced by something very different, which will not manifest that. Um, but yes, we are going into a period where the world we've known is, is going to collapse and we are going to have to deal with it. Um, so the new can take its place. Do you have any vision about it or do you think it's unvisionable? It's not possible to, to imagine. Oh, I think I think there'll be a, a lot of. I mean, do you think uh, we're going to sit and play the drums every night and ride on horses, or or do you think we are, uh, for example, using uh, technology for like the most brilliant purposes? Or, well. Or...